Robert from CritGames.com here to show you how to make quick and easy one inch or 25 millimeter bases for your tabletop role playing games. Now this is a standard WizKid D&D miniature and I, I, you know, I have a bunch of these figures around. I wanted to find something where if I make my own DIY miniature, I uh, would have a, a simple round base. There's not a lot of frills to these. I wanted something that would kind of mix with that on the table. Now I found these no name, you know, circle um, miniature bases. There's not a lot to them, you know, it's just, you know, a piece of plastic that's pressed on there and you can move your, 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 your own figure over to it. But as you can tell, it doesn't actually stand that well on the table. I was kind of disappointed with, uh, you know, what I got um, out of the box with these. Now you can take uh, washers and if you pick the right size, you can glue them onto the bottom of, of the bottom of these. So when you, when you hot glue it in there, um, you know, and also I would take the time to, to paint the washer so it had a little bit nicer finish on the bottom. And then you have a little bit of heft uh, to move these around on the table. And you know that it feels good. If, if you notice though, like the, you know, the paint will start scratching off from normal wear and tear. They work well enough uh, with that extra weight in there. You know, they, they have, they'll stand up a little bit nicer, but I found a way to make them even better. So these are Reaper one inch round standard bases. Now these will come in a larger pack. So there's the number if you want to order it yourself, but they come in these blister packs. You get a whole bunch of them. Now, if you notice, one of the big differences between Reaper and these other kind of no-name bases is the edge. So the Reaper miniatures has a nice flat edge, whereas these no-name ones have kind of a beveled edge. Now, I'll go ahead and do the same method. I'll go ahead and put hot glue into the middle, and then I'll set the washer in, and I'll take the, the time to have enough hot glue in there to keep the metal part flush with the outside edge. Now, I'll take these, these are little felt one inch circles. Normally you get these like for furniture to, to you know, put, put underneath something. And what's really nice about them is they come with a self adhesive strip. So you, you peel this away, it already has the glue there ready to go. And then when you put that on to the bottom, you have a perfectly mated base and uh, felt that's ready to go on the bottom. So here's an example of a miniature that I made. And it, you know, it makes for just a really nice base. The extra hot glue underneath with the, the washer has a nice heft to it as you're moving it around. You know, it feels really good because it has the, the felt on the bottom. And you know, it feels it feels great to move around. It it didn't require any extra painting effort. It's just, you know, just putting the, the three pieces together and then gluing your, your miniature on top. Really feels great on the table. It does a much better job than these other ones and you know, especially better than if you did, you know, just the base itself. And, you know, it just, it just feels great. It has a nice heft to it. It was quick and easy to put together and it's ready to go. No, no painting required, just a little bit of hot glue and you, and you have it ready to go. Now, if you look at the, the, the two mixed in together on the table, there's, there's your standard WizKids standard and there's your, the one you made yourself. So you notice it is a little bit thicker. So you will see a difference in, in that sense, but uh, you know, overall it's, it's a great solution. If you like these types of videos, like or subscribe on YouTube, let us know. Uh, follow us at, at Crick Games LLC on Twitter, or you can find us on Instagram, instagram.com slash Crick Games. And as always, game on.